Hello, good day. I want to introduce you to a free Excel program you can use to design or determine area of reinforcement for columns. And it's very useful after you have calculated the load acting on the columns and any moments also. You enter data in blue cells. At the very top of the Excel program, you can change things like the project name, the client, the date, directly under it we have materials where you can change the strength of concrete, the strength of steel, the factors of safety, uh, the cover and directly under materials we have the section where you can change the section properties. You can also change the number of bars per face. Under bar arrangements, just set the maximum bar size. The graph is directly related to the bar arrangements. We we'll go back to the bar arrangements, you will see a bar size 25, which is shown on the graph as the yellow curve. The bar 20, which is shown on the line as a brown dashed line. And similarly for bar 16 and bar 12. For instance, if I change this maximum bar to 32, you'll find out that the system includes 25, 20, 16, 12. After the graph, we have the load cases. Here is where you set the load on the column. For instance, the top column, the load of 500 kilonewtons and moment of 100 kilonewton meter may be acting on it. Of course, you can change the values to suit your needs. You can use this spreadsheet program to analyze a single row of column from top to bottom. Determine the adequate reinforcements you can change any of these parameters under materials or under section or even the bar size and the load cases. So let's say we change this section to 225 and we set the number of bar per face to 2 and assuming we have these loads, we find that most of our values will fall outside the curved lines, meaning that the section of this column is too small. Let's say we increase the height of the column to 400 and the width still to 225. Now, taking a look at this now, we see that most of the, the values are now taken care of as most of them fall within the column capacity curves. For instance, if we look at load case 6, it falls within the column capacity 4 T12 using this section 400 by 225 let's even now say i change the width of the column to also be 400 we'll see that things will change and it takes care of all of our loaded cases here for instance the 1000 and the 500 kilonewton load cases can be taken care of by a column section of 4 t16 bars this is just a brief way you can determine reinforcement of columns after you have already calculated the column load and the column moments. The download link to this Excel program is available in the video's description. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe.